All right, here's part three. Scanning the digital channels with the new antenna. There's already two, and uh, this one's pretty quick. This is and in my last one of my videos. I said this is an Insignia branded DTV converter box. No, it's a Zenith branded DTV converter box. And I only use a DT converter box with this flat screen TV because I can see the signal on this TV. And I don't know how, if you can do it on the the LG TV here. I don't know how to do it. So I've already picked up uh, 18 channels. Here's 21. There's definitely a better, uh, more selectivity with this antenna. Wow, 27? <laughs> it used to be like 18 before. 29. There should be a little bit more because you got uh, channel 46. 33. Wow. That's pretty, pretty great. I mean, like I said, if I had to get all 33, I'd have to move the beam at least 10, 20 degrees either direction. Uh, and I and I'm pointing at about uh, 255, which is almost due west. But I wanted to uh, let me turn it down. Let me just want to show you a quick setup. All right, let's see where we're at here. All right, there's WT, and that always comes in. So I will storm track a channel. Living well network. That station sucks. And this is channel 13 on the big antenna on the VHF one. And there's a third, another 13 one, which is a local station on UHF 38. So it's going to show 13 two, which is uh, me TV. And uh, that's the one on the big antenna, 13 two on the little antenna on UHF. The weather channel on 13 three and the other 13 three. So I get all the 13s. This is the NBC affiliate. Now this channel here, 14 YBN, it's, I think it's down in Kingston. Um, no more sticking uh, fish falling Kind of down in the Hudson Valley. I, I, it's amazing that this comes in. It, this was never this good on the Yagi. Uh, it would be breaking up. It, and I got it kind of peaked on this channel to show you the, the difference between the two. They have like eight channels. Some of them are kind of cruddy. I mean, the uh, pixelation's just uh, really bad. Uh, anyway, there's PBS. There's three of them. WMHT Albany. There's 19 Greylock. See, I couldn't get this if I was pointed anywhere toward the west. Let's see what the signal is. Oh, no, never. It wouldn't even be that high. So it's already 63 degrees. Let's see. All right, 19.3. There's Fox 23. Not even pointed at it, and it's it's actually sta very stable. Okay. This is Country Channel, CT, Country Television. I don't know what this is, but they just added it not that long ago. It's a CW network. I can get that a little stronger, but I got, I'm, I'm in between WRGB, SD... And for a standard definition picture, it's very good. Price's rates on here. And there's 46 out of Bennington, Vermont. If anybody knows this channel, I know it's it's kind of based. W4, I don't know if it's 6, hang on, let me pull it back up. W46EW-D. Uh, W46EW. It's uh, Vermont Public Television, which is about um, 20 miles, but it's very low power. And I, it's breaking up a little bit, but I'm not pointing right at it either. So, and 51's the same way. This is the uh, the My4 My Network, and then uh, they have Antenna TV on 52, 51 too. But that's basically it. That that did change. Um, I would highly recommend this antenna. This is probably one of the best UHF antennas that they've ever manufactured. This even beats the uh, DB8, hands down. I mean, uh, the Yagi, the um, the ones that I had had before the Yagi, the uh, 
MXU-59, which is kind of a big antenna, and the MXU-47. Um, this seems to be more uh, more stable and a little bit more uh, flexible. Then they have the DB-8E coming out, which uh, you have to do pre-ordering now. So, but anyways, I wanted to show you that. And I'll upload these two videos, and I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions about, if if anybody knows about that W six four four EW out of Bennington, um, let me know because it's the only one out of Vermont I can get, um, and it's on a bounce, so I do get it though. Thank you. Have a great day. Happy Memorial Day.